Okay, I just want to make a few comments about uh, the use of uh, hair tissue mineral analysis, HTMAs, uh, in the early detection of copper toxicity conditions in young uh, children, especially girls. And the reason why this is so important is there's a close correlation between estrogen and copper. And if there's too much uh, uh, estrogen in a person's system, that will raise the copper levels uh, to excess amounts that will affect the liver and also affect the brain. Uh, so it's possible to have uh, health problems involving physical uh, and medical conditions and also uh, mental and psychological problems. And as a psychologist, uh, I would emphasize in an ideal world it would be uh, uh, optimal uh, to do HTMAs on young girls in order to assess whether they're uh, likely to be copper toxic. If they're copper toxic, uh, they will be progressively adversely affected as they get older and get closer to pre-adolescence and adolescence uh, experiencing hormonal changes, especially with the buildup of their own estrogen. So if they are copper toxic, and we know the strong correlation between estrogen and copper, it's vitally important to pick up copper toxicity in young girls and put them on the right uh, supplement programs and diet to help reduce their copper load before they go through hormonal changes in adolescence. If that is not picked up, what happens? So many girls who appear to be developing very uh, well, uh, doing well in school, socially, within the family, can all of a sudden have extreme reactions as they move into uh, the adolescent hormonal changes. And if the parents and the professionals who provide health services uh, to that family are not aware of copper toxicity and HDMAs, they will totally miss this underlying copper toxic dynamic. And they won't begin to understand what needs to be done uh, to reverse these adverse trends. And uh, my recommendation has been consistent over uh, nearly 40 years uh, for parents to do an HDMA on their kids, see what the underlying mineral pattern is, and if there's a uh, significant indication of copper toxicity, especially in young girls, take steps to reduce their copper load and you can save yourself a lot of grief and uh, aggravation uh, by unloading the excess copper before adolescence. It will make it a much smoother adolescent uh, uh, change. And the impact of copper toxicity uh, when it gets uh, to uh, a worsening level in adolescents and uh, young girls uh, creates all kinds of depression, anxiety and panic attacks, uh, reactions that are just given a diagnosis of uh, obsessive compulsive disorder or bipolar disorder and then the, uh, the standard uh, reaction is to write prescriptions for some dangerous, toxic, psychotropic drugs. And if the uh, situation uh, becomes bad enough, uh, quite often a recommendation will be made to hospitalize a young girl. And especially if the family has good health insurance, uh, then um, hospitalization very often occurs uh, and the girl is loaded up on more and more psychotropic drugs and when she's caught in that web of psychiatry and psychotropic drugs, they're very addicting. Uh, they can produce very dangerous reactions, including suicide and violent homicidal outbursts. Uh, 
some very, very serious adverse outcomes. If the copper toxicity is not pick, picked up early on and uh, supplementation for detoxing the excess copper, uh, there's a high probability that such girls are going to encounter uh, some significant physical and or psychological and mental problems in adolescence. And I've seen this over and over and over again in my psychology practice over the past nearly 40 years since I got introduced to uh, hair mineral analysis uh, and especially copper toxicity. I think it's unfortunately going to be a long time before enough parents are educated and enough professionals are educated about copper toxicity and the importance of detecting it early, taking steps with supplements and diet to reduce it, and reduce the adverse effects of a natural buildup of estrogen hormones as these girls move through pre-adolescence and adolescence.